Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect widgets to TradingView in 2023. So if you're looking to sync your uh, accounts, of course, widgets account with TradingView, for a seamless trading experience, you're in the right place. As of now, there are some methods to do so. Uh, and this will allow you, of course, to harness the power of both your trading strategies. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll have to go and access your Bidgets uh, account. Of course, to do so, you'll have to simply go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm going to use like a Brave browser. And of course, in your case, you can use any other uh, browser could be possibly working for you. Once you open that browser, you'll basically have to go and type here at the URL section bitsjit.com and hit the enter button. Once you do so, this will take you right away to their home screen or main screen right away. And of course, if you don't know much about this website, you can always scroll down, read more information about first of all, and just have a general idea about this example. And that's going to be it. Then go to the top right corner and click on login to login into your account if you have an account. And if you don't, you'll have to click on sign up instead. For me, as an example, I don't have an account, so I'll click on sign up. And of course, here you can create an account or even log in into your account with Google, Apple, Telegram, or even MetaMask or another wallet here, which is the biggest wallet. So for me, I'll just register with that and click here on Google, choose my first account, click on confirm, and click to verify. So I'll just click slide to complete the puzzle. Sure. Just missed this one, but it's not a problem. I guess this one is good. So here we are. And now, as you can see, you can enter your referral code. If one of your friends, for example, have a budget uh, account, make sure to ask them to give them uh, or so they can give you, of course, their referral code. They will benefit from that and you will benefit from that. So both of you will benefit. It's better to do so. So I'll just go and check this option. As you can see, I have read and agree to the user agreements and privacy policy. Click on sign up without entering a referral code. Click to verify and basically slide this puzzle here. And here we are, I guess. So here we are. We have an account. As you can see, if we go to the top right corner, we'll find our account right here. Now, I am ready to use, of course, my account. So I'll just go open a new tab. Go here and type like tradingview.com and hit the enter button. And of course, this will take me again to the home screen, main screen of trading view. Here, uh, make sure to do the same. So you'll find at the top right corner login option or create account option, which is sign up or register. Just go and do that so until you have your account ready to use for trading view. So now there's three ways, of course, to connect or to establish a connection between your widgets and trading view. First one is simply through the API key. You can simply go and to your widget and from here make sure to access your settings of API keys go of course once you access the widget API key so agree here you will have to go and create a new API key generates one and of course ensure that you grant all necessary permissions if you ask which permission you want to give to the key and copy the API key and the security key that comes with it then Go back to your trading view, and from here, you'll have to add a custom data source or an exchange. And of course, once you add that, just paste there the API key and security key obtained from your Bidget's account into the respective fields of trading view. And that's it. You'll have to follow the prompt then in trading view to authenticate, of course, and establish the connection with Bidget's using API key. And then you will have to verify, or after setup, verify it's Bidget's data. I have widgets but uh, such as shards and markets informations is visible and accessible within trading view if it is congratulations you've done the connection for me i'll not do this way in this video i'll do other ways so you can go back to trading view and now we'll go to the second way here as simple as that i'll just go to broker i'll choose a random one click on trade i just want to get into trade and here close this just scroll down to the bottom here and click on see all brokers here we'll basically have to look for widgets 
So I'll not go and look through all that. So I'll use an option some of you may know, which is Control F on whatever like browser you're using. This will work. Something like this will appear. So simply here you'll have to type bits jets or bits gets. And as you can see, this uh, we have one uh, search per one. And as you can see, it's already highlighted. So even if you are not there, as example, I'll just type it again, bits gets, and as you can see, it will be highlighted and I will be taken there. As simple as that. So this always works, just keep that in mind. So here, basically, I'll just go and click on that. And as you can see here, they are asking me to enter the API key and the pass phrase, which is the secret key. So for bits as example, as you can see, you'll not be able to click on connects and connects with your Google account or enter your credentials and etc. You'll have to go get your API key, create a new API key, and as an example, to ensure the secures of our assets bind any two mobile number and email address. So of course, I'll have to go and add my mobile number or email address or even uh, add in this Google Authenticator. So then get your API key. Once you get your API key, just go back here, enter your API key and secrets code or passphrase, click on connect and you will be connected without any problem. This is the second option. There's the third option. If you don't want to even like address as a broker or connect it as a broker. Of course, before you can even like check this option of don't remember me if you want to connect once. If you want to like keep connecting, don't just check it. So the last one, of course, you just go to the top right corner here, watch list, go and click on plus, add symbol, go to crypto or whatever you want and click on here, all sources. Here we'll basically type like bitjits or bitsgit. And here you will find all the crypto charts on bitsgit. So add all the, the charts that you want. As an example, I'll just add those two, Ethereum and Bitcoin. And I'll find them here. So I'll scroll down into crypto. So I'll just close this as an example or even remove this. So I'll remove those from my, from my watch list. As example, so remove all of those. And yeah, now I have just like the one that I added, which is those two. As you can see, you'll find them from widgets. If you can see here, widgets. So those are the things that I did, added from my watch list. And it's already connected. Now you can make your uh, trading view. Analysis, you can add, of course, more stocks. Just look for whatever you want. I don't know, like check for Solana's example. We have it. And uh, depending on whatever you want. So just go and enter that out, add it to your watch list. You'll find it here from budgets, as you can see, and you can make your analysis and you'll be good to go. So congratulations, you've connected budget to TradingView. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.